The woman suddenly lifted her feet off the ground. The husband was so frightened that he called the emergency number. Even if two medical staff try their best to drag, they still can't pull down the floating woman. In the evening, the doctor came here. Her husband thought the doctor was coming. He can fix it all. He didn't expect that the doctor would find it after testing it with a ruler. Women compared with before, the height of the suspension rose by several centimeters. Obviously, women have been rising all the time. The doctors were at a loss. The doctor had to take her blood for further examination. Appearance of strange diseases. This family has undergone earth-shaking changes. Sarah in the air can't do anything. Even eating needs the help of family members. They feed in mid-air. During this period doctors also kept coming for examination. But the result is still nothing. Later, my husband, in order to accompany me, he simply moved to the living room to have a rest. It wasn't long before Sarah floated to the ceiling of the living room. On that day, a more authoritative expert came. The experts first measured the height of Sarah's rise. Then she told her husband to be ready to make a hole. In the following days, Sarah will continue to grow, continue to lift off. When the husband asked anxiously, how can we stop this? Experts said, the effective weight will slow down the climbing process, but the result is still unstoppable. About 10 weeks later, Sarah will rise to 12,000 feet. Then a few months later, Sarah will cross the Carmen line and go into outer space. Knowing this result, Sarah looked at her daughter and couldn't believe it for a moment. Mom's going into orbit. Shut up, Carly. There's something you can do that's got to be. We'll do our best to keep you comfortable. The husband angrily dismantled the wooden floor, at a loss to vent their grief, and Sarah can only try to cover the falling dust, when he called for his daughter's help. The daughter increased the sound of the water, trying to avoid what's happening at home. With the board completely falling, Sarah straightened up and put her head in. Upstairs is her daughter's bedroom. All this seems so strange and helpless. It's daylight, her daughter writes, but she could no longer concentrate on her studies, because behind her is half of her mother's body. More than this, Sarah, because of the loss of gravity for a long time, more and more people can't hold back. Her daughter had to go downstairs every time to set the water tray. The daughter said she could suspend her studies and take care of her at home. Face your daughter's kindness. Sarah refused outright. It means that everything is based on study. Maybe it's hard on her. Sarah also feels a little guilty, but she had no other choice. The husband struggled to enter the room with his face on his face, and Sarah put on her best clothes, because today is their wedding anniversary. That you look like an angel. Oh, I'm sorry, love. My wonderful, stupid husband on our anniversary. You started without me. That day, my daughter came home. As soon as she entered the door, she heard her mother's painful voice. She went to the living room to have a look. Surprisingly, it was her father who tried to stop Sarah from taking off, tied her to her ankles. She showed pain when she saw her mother. Her daughter hurried to get the knife. Her husband came to stop her. Just then, Sarah screamed bitterly. The daughter pushed her father away in a hurry. Start cutting rope. That's all she can do. Sarah won't hurt. Listening to Sarah's screams, her husband hasn't recovered for a long time. Time passed day by day. Now Sarah has risen to the top of the building. The family took the ladder to get ready for separation. Because a woman has a strange disease that keeps soaring. In two months, she'll climb to 330,000 feet of Carmen Line. Enter outer space completely. The family are at a loss. Only warm clothes and food can be prepared for her. My daughter even went out of her way to protect her mother. Prepared her favorite music with a load-bearing backpack to slow the climb. The time of separation will come. The daughter is reluctant to embrace her mother. Sarah also shed hard tears, seeing the elevator descend. That strong husband can no longer restrain himself. He rushed forward and hugged his wife. But human beings can't stop the progress of this strange disease. Sarah soon rose into the air of the city. When she was bored, she played the game of decryption. Just then, the sky suddenly began to rain heavily. Sarah quickly put on her rainproof clothes and hat. Time always flies. In a twinkling of an eye, the clouds were also dyed black. Sundowners. Sarah's face has been burned by the sun. Her daughter received a call from her mother while she was cooking, even though Sarah asked her daughter about her recent study. Faced with mother's constant worries, her daughter is a little weak. Until I asked about my father's recent situation, her daughter was relieved at last. Indicates that everything is normal. Before her mother finished asking, she hung up the phone.
Sarah is staring at her mobile phone, a little distracted. There seems to be something blocked in the throat. It makes her feel uncomfortable and she can't breathe. She quickly took out P3. Listen to her favorite music as a diversion. Unexpectedly, MP3 accidentally fell into the sky. At this moment, this woman, she could no longer control her pent-up emotions. She's starting to yell. Suddenly, she was attracted by the sound in the distance. Seeing this scene, she was stunned. In the distance, hundreds of birds are hovering in the air. At that moment, Sarah smiled. The miracle of life is unfolding before our eyes. At this moment, the bird suddenly turned around, flying to Sarah's location. It was the first time she had seen such a spectacle. With hundreds of birds flying by her, her initial panic turned into shock. The birds began to circle around Sarah. Sarah really shines like an angel. Her life, she had never felt this way before. She danced and cheered in the air. Be as contented as a child. Rainy season is always worrying. A residual gap in the ceiling. It's proof that Sarah once existed. Her daughter looked over her head. That's where my mother is. At this time, Sarah was floating at an altitude of 10,000 meters. She was subjected to constant storms. A month later, she reached the critical point of the 330,000 foot Carmen line. The world here is very quiet. All she could think of was the sound of her own breathing. Seems to decide something. Sarah resolutely takes off her oxygen mask. She used the last power to call home. Her husband woke up with a start when he heard the bell. He got up quickly and rushed to the phone. Sarah? Hey. Sarah, are you alright? I'm so worried. Sarah. Mom. Oh, I hear it comes. Oh, what, Mom? She's confused. Would you put your mask on? Carly. Carly. Mom? Carly. If you fail your exams. Now, whatever happens. Whatever you do, I'm so proud of you. Hold on your dad. We both love you. Where are you? Fuck, I said, would you put your mask back on? We're here, we're in the house, Mum. Stand clear of the house. Okay. Sarah? Soon, Sarah's voice was lost on the phone. They looked up anxiously at the gap. Suddenly, the backpack went through the gap and hit the ground. The daughter rushed to the backpack in pain. Now Sarah is facing the rising sun. The climbing speed is getting faster and faster. Sarah! Going faster! I want to go as high as I can! That's the whole up now, Dave! I love you! She said goodbye to her lover. That's Sarah's last voice. After that, the mobile phone fell to the ground and was smashed. Look at this. Father put down the phone in pain. Hug his daughter tightly. Just like the daughter who was born for the first time. Take care of her in your arms. A few months later, the ceiling is no longer good. Under the imperfect prepare, he is already incomplete. The daughter took out the prepared breakfast, eating with her father. Even at breakfast time, she didn't forget to study. The Carmen line may be the life and death line. People always wait until they are about to lose it before they begin to cherish it. Only those who are close to death can reflect on their lives. Really close to the line of nothingness. People become no longer afraid and complain. But to know. Let's say goodbye. Don't let love wait too long. Don't forget to subscribe. For more videos like this. On Recap Next.